Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 67. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a new feature in XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And we're going to talk about the pie chart widget and how to display your information in a pie chart. So let's go ahead and go to the designs gallery in the upper right hand corner of our screen and go ahead and lock that panel. Once you lock that panel, we'll look for the folder that says page elements. So left click on page elements and then a, a sub list of folders will come up and you're going to choose the one that says charts and widgets. And when you left click on the charts widgets folder, you'll look for the for the, the icon that looks like a pie chart and then you'll left click and drag that into your workspace. And after you drag that into your workspace, we're going to go ahead and left click on it once and then you'll get a little small pop up menu that says widget and you're going to left click on the button that says edit and that'll take you to edit view let's go ahead and close out our designs gallery and when you go to edit view you'll see that on the right hand side of the screen we have some instructions and in, in section one or you know stage one it says set the theme by entering a value between one and four on the left and then right beneath this you'll see that there's four options and depending on what number you choose it would choose that Pacific chart. So if you chose number one, it would choose chart number one. If you chose chart number two, it would choose chart number two. So let's go over to the left hand side of our screen and you see where it says theme. Well, right to the right of that, there's a number and this number is going to set what theme we can pick. So I'm going to pick theme number two and then I'm going to hit the selection key or a selection tool in the toolbar to deselect that number. And then in the next section, you'll see that it says chart title and just like the name says we can set our chart title here so I'm gonna call it XR tutorial viewership and you can name it whatever you want but in this case I'm gonna name it that so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my selection tool in the toolbar to deselect that text and then in the next section you'll see that it says CSV data and this is where you're going to enter in all your values for the chart. Now there's two ways that you can enter data. You can enter it manually here or if you have an Excel file, if you look in, in section three or step three on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that it says edit or paste in your CSV, which means comma separated values or in other words, it's an Excel data sheet. So if you know how to make a comma separated values data sheet in Excel, you can import that and it will automatically enter in those values for you and generate your pie chart but in this case I'm going to manually enter in the data and and do it inside of XR so let's go ahead and change our first uh, category here which it says Apple and we're gonna change that to mail so this is for our mail viewership and I'm gonna set the value to let's say it's about 70 percent okay and I'm going to hit the selection key because I want to make sure something's still here. Uh, you'll notice that somehow I deleted my comma after mail. It's very important to leave that there or you can get errors. So make sure there's a comma after your um, category. If it's not, you, you may end up getting an error. So you see how it says mail and then comma and then a space in 70. You definitely want to make sure that that comma is there. So don't make the mistake that I just made. Uh, in the next section, you'll see that it says banana. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to change that to female okay and we're going to leave that at 20 percent and then for our last section we're going to put it to unknown and we'll set that to 10 percent it's very important that you know your values all add up to hundred percent if you don't you're going to get some weird percentages where it's going to force it to equal hundred percent so make sure that you, your values add up to 100%. As you can see here, 70 plus 20 plus 10 will equal 100%. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit the X key in our and for this tab and close it out. Hit save. And that's gonna take us back to our normal view. And as you can see, it regenerated our pie chart and now we can see that we have theme two. So let's go ahead and preview this. So go to file, preview web page.
and when you go to preview mode you'll see that we have all our categories male female unknown and if we click on any part of this pie chart it'll show you know the different values so if we click on this it'll it'll animate it out a little bit and it'll say unknown is 10 percent click on female 20 percent and if you click on male 70 percent so it animated animates it as we click on each of these sections here now the other thing I want to show you is that you can actually remove some of these parts of the pie chart. So maybe you only only want, maybe you only want to focus on, uh, you know, female and male. So let's turn off unknown, and you'll see that now we only see male and female, and you can only click on those parts. You can't any longer click on unknown, or maybe you just want to focus on female. So you remove the male, and you would only see the female statistics. So now you see that only 20% of our viewership is from female. Now you can turn back on those values by clicking on the names and it will reveal those parts of the pie chart. So I think this is a pretty cool feature uh, that Xar has added and I think you will be able to use it to really showcase um, the value of your business and, and that kind of thing. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was helpful in showing you how to use uh, the new pie chart widget in Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8. If you have any questions, please send us a message on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe, give our video a thumbs up, you know, share it, embed it, that kind of that kind of thing. You know, send it on Facebook, whatever you want to do. Uh, please help us promote these videos and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day. Yeah.